Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement as we are heading to hell, season two, episode four of Hell of a Boss. And we found out that Moxie is part of a mobster family on the greed, the greed level of realm. I think my favorite part of that whole episode was the way Millie was so angry on Mox's behalf that he was done dirty and she was ready to kill for him. He is hers. That ass is hers. I love that part. That was great. <laughs> Where are we going next? I don't know, but this episode is called Western Energy. So I'm wondering if, um, who's he, what's it? Um, snake dude assassin. I want to say he's Chaz, but he's not Chaz because the last guy we had was Chaz. Chester Copperpot, whatever. I wonder if he's coming back. I don't know. We'll just have to sit and watch it together. So thank you so much for being with me, especially if you've hit subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't, now's as good as time of any to do so. So we're going to get under the big cozy blanket. We've got our water. we got our beverage. we got whatever. I've got all of you. Thanks, y'all. And let's get to it. Stolas. Stella. Stella. Fuck it, imp. Why did you insist on meeting me here? Who's the fellow in the center? Um, we wanted to properly discuss the terms of this divorce. I feel my darling sister deserves a bit more. Ah, the bro. Cheating implies there was a betrayal. This woman never gave two shits about me or our very much arranged marriage. As far as I'm concerned, this divorce is far overdue. Oh, it is back. Now? He chooses now. He chooses now. Oh, oh dear, this is worrisome. I'm sorry it's a bad time yet again, Blissy, but um, I seem to have found myself in a bit of a sitch. I'm tied on the back of a horse at the moment. Lucky bitch. In a bit of a sitch. I seem to have been stolen by that little cowboy friend of yours. Oh, which one? How many cowboys do you know? What does he look like, your highness? Sexy? That's Striker, sir. Striker, that's his name. Striper, no striking. <laughs> he has me bound with blessed rope, which limits my ability to free myself, I'm afraid. I think you should come save me. Uh, I'm literally on my way to take Luna in for her very important Helby's S H O T. Don't worry about your lanky birdie, he's in good hands. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, there's three other of them. They can sense two at least. Sure that you got this alone. We can do it, sir. Together, we are a lethal combo. And we both have a score to settle. What's with the chapeau? Get your asses down there and look for some cowboy crap or something. It looks very nice. Christ on a stick of all the days for him to get his stupid feathered ass kidnapped. I have waited five fucking years for this appointment. Fuck me in my little red hole! Hi, right, the fuck you looking at? Please take a seat, Mr. O. Perf. Where's Luna? Oh, there she is. Oh, don't worry, Looney. It's okay, it's just one little prick. You won't feel it. Ew, don't say that. It sounds vulgar. Excuse me? Pervert. Vulgar is one of my most favorite words. I don't know, I just like vulgar. Sounds so dirty. <laughs> He's galloping over the dusty. Oh, we're getting a song. He's striker. He's striker. Sure shooting darn tootin'. His name is striker. He's fast and strong and tall and mean. The foulest name you've ever seen. He break your bones to hear him crunch. He likes to eat that he won't He's striker, he's striker. He's shut the fuck up! How does one get their own theme song? Yes, how does one get their own theme song? You got a problem with me? <gasps> there is a child present, you filthy Rathian! Is there any way we can reschedule for a time when less of the unemployed rabble are out? Oh, please, I bet the hardest work you ever done is convincing your husband that little shit's his. Hey, queer boy! You stealing my hat? Same hat. Oh, sorry. My wife just put this hat on my head. You know, because it was hot outside. Uh, same hat. 
Okay. So we're doing this, huh? <laughs> fuck him up, Boxy, fuck him up! Out by the bad man lands in the old train to very outlaw aesthetic. You can't miss it. Oh! oh. Train tracks? Really? Seems a bit cliche, doesn't it? It's a classic. Is the giant statue of yourself also a classic, or...? <laughs> Are you seriously judging me right now? I'm just <laughs> impressed. You seem to want to suck your own dick this badly. Mm -hmm. Don't get to talk over me. I don't have to listen to your bullshit. All oh. you <gasps> ever do is try to talk over us. You seem to be forgetting. You are working for a royal right now! <laughs> Blitz handles me rougher than that in bed. Nice try. <laughs> Blitz's knife is bigger and hits so much deeper. Being a smart ass, hmm? You won't be worth any more than the tombstone you'll be buried under. Blitz, he says far dirtier things to me with much sharper objects at my throat. I hope he does. <laughs> oh, stores! I see hellhounds every day, and there hasn't been one that has caused any issue. right there. Told you, dipshit. If your husband dies, it won't turn out well for you. He'll be dead! Why wouldn't it? You've already produced an heir. When he dies, his duties, it will all pass to Via. Well, what do you propose we do? Okay. He won't leave me anything willingly. But with him alive, we have options, opportunities, and wait for the chance to gain the upper hand. I was afraid they were going to try to say, kill Mia. But just that. Any last words, Goisha? Let's. <laughs> Will. That rodeo clown told you he ain't coming. <laughs> Hello? Taser the plans, darling. I need the prick alive. Your royal <sighs> says she don't want you dead no more. <sighs> but she didn't say what condition you had to be in. Can't have you seeing me again, can we? Hmm? Yeah, I almost forgot about these two. I'm open. There was something about that animation just now that kind of was like making me drift off to sleep. It's very hypnotic. Choke the life out of little one. Oh, harder. Stolas got hurt bad. Stolas got what? <laughs> Ow. He can get hurt? More than physically, Blitz. He can hurt in many ways. <laughs> the fact they have cell phones in hell. Better be there when he puts the phone down. <sighs> he loves.
loves me, loves me not! Who gave him all the flowers? <laughs> so I'm left with wondering again, what are we building to? I'm hoping in the next episode is Stolz comes out and Blitz is there. Blitz is there. I don't know. Maybe I'm shipping them too hard. But I want them to be friends. Stolas needs a true friend because we haven't seen him have one. And it seems as if he never had one. So I need Stolas to find friendship. And so far, Blitz is the only one being put in his path. And Moxie and Miller are kind of relationship goals. Finding someone who gets all of you and was willing to fuck people up to save and protect you. <laughs> oh, I need to find that. <laughs> so we need two friends and someone's willing to fuck people up for you. But now that uh, Stella is just determined to make Stolas' life hell while he's living so she can get things. Kind of need her taken out. <laughs> but then we would not have any conflict then, would we? We also haven't had IMP really doing their jobs. It's the first part of season one, yeah. And after that, we haven't seen them go out actually out on a mission. And we still got the dorks. Huh. So I guess we do have some loose threads out there waving in the wind so what will episode five four five five bring us who knows? who knows but i want you there with me for the adventure so please if you have not already i'd appreciate a subscribe a like just something so you know when the next one drops and then until then you are going to take care of yourselves you're gonna get your shots if you need them. stretch take five seconds to breathe and then come back and watch the next video in the queue so thanks again y'all and until next time